The much anticipated appearance of Attorney General Bill Barr in front of the House Judiciary Committee will go down in history as a tipping point in tribal political partisanship in this country that is only getting worse and was on full display for a national audience who tuned in to see what they thought was supposed to be a hearing. You know, a hearing where you ask questions and then hear what the person has to say. That's not what happened this week as House Democrats ignored all rules of decorum and instead invented their own rules of engagement, making the attorney general little more than a prop for their reelection campaign videos. It would have been better for Attorney General Barr had the House just put him up on trial because he would have had more rights under the rule of law than he did under the made-up House rules that subverted all constitutional rights of freedom of speech and the ability to defend yourself. Barr was even at first denied the right to take a break to go to the bathroom, which isn't a constitutional right, but maybe it should be. Ms. Dean is recognized. Sorry, Mr. Chairman, could, I, could we take a five-minute break? Dean is recognized. Could we take a five-minute break, Mr. Chairman? No. He did, in the end, get his bathroom break after an argument, but that was just one moment in a bizarre hearing where, by the way, we all learned an officious way to say, shut up. I don't care what you have to say. I'm reclaiming my time, Mr. General. Pacific Without any remedy at all. I'm reclaiming my time. Let me share with you. Well, you got to let him answer. Reclaiming my time. You Directed. reclaiming my time, sir. Reclaiming my time. He found uh, reclaiming my time without political bias. He said he and found in April, evidence. Reclaiming my time, Mr. Turner. In that's reclaiming my time. Reclaiming my time, from. Mr. Barr. Occurring substances. Sir, Attorney General, reclaiming my time. Go ahead and try that the next time you're having a disagreement with your spouse. See where it gets you. The sad truth is that we are so divided by politics. There are people out there who cheered on the calculated House manipulation of the rules to silence the Attorney General as much as they could, who, by the way, accepted an invitation to appear. Now understand, when this kind of precedent is set, the Republicans will end up doing the exact same thing when they're in control. And those who applaud this tactic now will condemn it then. Just like there are people out there who attack others on social media for fat shaming and applaud the Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, for saying this about Bill Barr. It's really, he was like a blob. You see, in this new climate, rules apparently are only made for those you agree with politically. For those you don't agree with, well, if they're overweight, apparently you can call them a blob. Or worse. To get assaulted wearing a hat, uh, wearing a Make America Great hat, it's, it's, it's uh, sad. Even some violence has become acceptable. Now notice, I, I didn't comment at all on the substance of the hearing, just the decorum. And still, half of you will applaud me and half of you will be mad because you believe I took a definitive side. That's the American divide, and we all witnessed a low point. Now, before you say, well, this is all Donald Trump's fault, he caused the divide in this country, I disagree. He was born of the divide. He used the divide. He was not its maker. In 2012, the Pew Institute released a study called Polarization surges during the Bush-Obama years. So the divide we're feeling now started a decade before Trump. And in that study, back in 2012, there was a stunning finding. For the first time, politics divides us more than anything else, more than race, religion, gender, age, or class. All other biases like racism, homophobia, or anti-Semitism have rightfully been condemned as being socially unacceptable, but not politics. It is acceptable as a bias and continues to grow. It's the new outlet for our hate. That explains the lack of decorum at this week's House hearing with William Barr.
It also explains why we only choose news outlets that feed our own political bias. In a more recent Pew study done this year, it found that when it comes to elections and political coverage, 93% of Republicans go to Fox News. 96% of Democrats favor MSNBC. Americans now only want to hear from people who agree with them. It feeds their own bias and allows them to stay comfortably close-minded. And that has ruined friendships and torn apart families. So no matter what you think of the Bill Barr hearing, whether you think he had it coming to him or if you think the Democrats were embarrassing themselves, it doesn't really matter. This was political theater set up to play to your emotions and your political bias. You see, it's not them, it's us. We choose to be divided. And the media and the politicians are just profiting from it. I'm Larry Menti. We'll talk again soon.